Number 43. During a circus act, an elderly performer thrills the crowd by catching a cannonball shot at him. The cannonball has a mass of 10 kilograms and the horizontal component of its velocity is 8 meters per second uh, when the 65 kilogram performer catches it. If the performer is on nearly frictionless roller skates, what is his recoil velocity? All right, so first we have to think about the nature of this problem. Right, We have a cannonball being shot at a person and uh, sounds safe. And we have this performer going to uh, catch that cannonball somehow. And uh, what we need to do now is we need to figure out, well, uh, does this involve a collision or not? And it does, right? The cannonball is essentially being shot at the person and will make contact with that person. So it is a collision. Now the question is, is the collision elastic or inelastic? Remember, elastic collisions involve a separation of the two objects after the collision. Inelastic collisions uh, uh, consist of right, sticking the two objects sticking together after the collision. So since he's looking to catch the cannonball, they're going to stick together after the collision. Therefore, it is inelastic. Okay, and since we are talking about a collision, we're also talking about the conservation of momentum. So let's write that formula down over here. So the momentum before the collision should be equal to then the momentum after the collision. Uh, the momentum before the collision consists of two uh, separate items. So therefore, I could say that the uh, that the, sorry, that the uh, momentum uh, before the collision would be equal to the momentum of the first object before the collision plus the momentum of the second object before the collision. And that should then equal the total momentum after the collision occurs because now these both act as a single mass. So expanding on what momentum is, remember it's mass times velocity. And therefore the uh, momentum of the cannonball here uh, will be equal to the mass of that cannonball multiplied by the velocity of the cannonball before the collision plus then the mass of the performer multiplied by the velocity of that performer before the collision should then equal the total mass right of the system after the collision since they stick together multiplied by that final velocity. Now realize that the final velocity is uh, can represent a couple of things. Number one, it represents this total system as a whole because after the collision they stick together. I must have said that about seven times now, right? I, sorry if I keep repeating myself over and over again, but I just want it to stick huh, in elastic collision. So that final velocity here will uh, represent um, the uh, total combined velocity of the two uh, pieces together. And it will also represent the final velocity of just the circus performer. And it will also represent the final velocity of the cannonball. Okay, so it kind of means three different things. So um, since I'm looking for the final velocity of that performer, I can simply say that that final velocity of the performer after collision is equal to the final uh, velocity of that whole system together. So I can just then divide out the total mass, okay, from both sides. Realize that the final velocity here will then be equal to the uh, then be equal to the mass of that cannonball multiplied by the velocity of the cannonball before uh, the collision, plus then the momentum, right, uh, the mass and the velocity of that circus performer. But he doesn't have a velocity, so therefore, since this term is zero, that whole term just drops out. So I'm not even going to bother writing it. Divided then by the total uh, mass, which would simply be the uh, cannonball plus then the mass of the performer. Okay, so this is our equation. All we got to do is plug it. Whoops, all we got to do is plug in and then we can solve, right? So the M1 was 10. So I'm just using the picture guys now. All right, so M1 is 10. V1 is going to be 8. All right, we get M1, which was 10. All right, 10 plus then the mass of the uh, performer, which was 65, and that will equal VF. So let's just plug it on in. So we get 10 times 8 divided by parentheses 10 plus 65. Oops, I hit 35 plus 65. And we get a value of 1.07, right? So 1.07, and that is in meters per second. That is the final velocity of the total system. It's also the final velocity, like I said before, of just the performer. And it could also represent the final velocity of that uh, cannonball. Guys, thanks so very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you out with the next question. Take care.